You probably know how much I love the branch image in the Sweet Friends stamp set that comes in the new Spring Parade Stamp TV kit. And I love it even more now that I can easily turn it from a branch to a tree whenever I want. Today on Stamp TV, I'm going to show you a simple card using the branch image to create a little forest. This card uses the thumping technique that gives the leaves a multicolored look. Let me show you the tools and products you're going to need to make this card. First, you're going to need the images, and I have the branch image, and then the two little images that contain the leaves that are stamped onto the branch. I also have the greeting that says, thank you, sweet friend. I also have a couple ink pads here. The first one is the Gina K Designs Honey Mustard. I also have some Memento Rich Cocoa and some Memento Tuxedo Black. I'm using a Memento Bamboo Leaves marker for the thumping technique. And I have a little bit of this golden yellow ribbon that comes in the new Spring Parade Stamp TV kit. Along with that, I have some white cardstock and some fresh asparagus cardstock. And then some patterned paper from the new Spring Parade pattern paper pack that comes with the kit. And what I've done is I've cut a square and then I've cut it on an angle to make two triangles. I'm using a heavy base weight white cardstock card base and I have some quarter inch pop dots to raise my focal image up off of the pattern paper. So to begin I'm going to stamp the branch image which is going to be my tree trunk and I want to make sure that I stamp it in the right direction here. So let me just hold that up to the card and make sure that that fits. And it sure does. So this will be the direction I'll stamp. Now I'm going to start by stamping this image first in the center. And then I'm going to do the two trees on either side based on where my center image falls. So I'll start right here in the center, there, and then my next tree, and this is totally up to you how you do this. You may want to have shorter trees on either side, or you may want to have them all very close in size, which is what I think I'm going to do. They'll be a little shorter on either side on this particular one, but not drastic. Okay, and there we'll go, my other one. So now I'm going to add my leaves. Now you can see how closely this image is trimmed. So it makes placing those leaves on the tree pretty easy. So I'm going to start with the honey mustard ink. I'm going to ink up the leaf images. And then I'm going to take the bamboo marker and I'm going to tap that bamboo ink color all over that honey mustard color. Now some of that honey mustard colored ink may have already dried, so I'm going to huff on it or breathe moist air over the surface of the stamp to reactivate any of the ink or marker that has dried. And then I'm going to place that image onto my tree. And you can see the multi colors that come through when you mix that honey mustard along with that with those bamboo leaves thumped all over. All right, now I just cleaned my stamp off a little bit and I'm going to go back onto the honey mustard again. And then thump again. Now you can do this the same way that I'm doing it, or you can have different color combinations of leaves. So maybe each tree has different colors on it, which will give the card even a little bit more interest. And it's okay if some of these overlap. And my last one over here. And then I'm going to do the tiny leaf image for those little ones that are sticking out on the side there. go. 
So there are the three main parts of the leaves. And now I can add some of this right to the side like that. This is so fun to stamp. You're really going to have fun with this one. I'll put this one on the end here. And for this card, I'm going to leave that one blank. I don't have to do all of the branches. I can leave that one without any leaves on it. Now this whole panel is going to be layered on top of some fresh asparagus. So I'm going to do that now. There we go. We have that panel ready to go. Now my next step is to take some of that ribbon and I'm going to wrap that around the trees right here like that. So, you won't need quite so big of a piece, but this was a little scrap that I had, so I'm just going to, to use it, make sure that that's straight. And then I'm going to tie one little bow so that it looks like it's tied right around one of these trees. Now, I love this card because I like to occasionally make cards for Operation Write Home, and I think that this sketch with this little yellow ribbon tied around this tree is just so perfect for a card that you would send to somebody in the military. So you could make a bunch of these and send them off to Operation Write Home. I'm sure they would appreciate it. But it's also a really nice card if you do have somebody in the military and you want to send them a thank you card or you want to send them a birthday card. That little bit of ribbon wrapped around the tree is really special. So now my next step is to add these two golden panels to my card base. And they can be spread apart just a little bit. Start with this one up here, like that, and then the other one. And make sure I have a room for my greeting at the bottom, so I don't want to spread them out too far apart. There we go. And then this is going to go right on top, like that. And then I always kind of put a little bit of extra tape right on the corners when I do a, this kind of pattern paper layering so that those corners stay down. They're, they're down pretty well. And then my final stamping part here is the greeting. And what I've done is I've taken the greeting, and to make sure that I can get it straight, I've just lined up the greeting itself with one of the lines on the block. This way I know that when I stamp it, if it looks straight on the line, it's going to stamp straight. And I'm going to add that greeting to the bottom of my card, right about here. Thank you, sweet friend. And then I'm going to apply the focal image part of the card onto my card base using some quarter inch pop dots. One on each corner will do it. You can always add a few more if you feel like you want to have three going across the top or the bottom because it is a larger focal image, but two will hold it as long as you press down nice and hard on them once you attach them. You should be fine. All right, and that is going to go right about there. And there is my finished card project. 
Try this same card using the heart image in place of the leaves to make a card of love. Or try leaving the trees bare and adding some white or opal glitter for a winter forest scene.